after a four-year delay since its construction in 2020, the Lomli transfer station has finally been commissioned, marking a significant step towards effective waste management in the area. The commissioning ceremony saw collaboration from various entities, including the Freetown City Council in partnership with World Hope International and Engineer Without Borders, Denmark. Stakeholders in the community expressed gratitude, noting the persistent challenge of illegal dump sites plaguing the community, stating expectation of reduced illegal dumping at sites like the Juba Bridge. Chairman Waste Collection Management Association Abubakar Sisse spoke of the burden lifted off their shoulders with the station's opening, enabling them to operate more effectively and safely. The station's opening was hailed as a relief by tricycle riders who highlighted the reduced maintenance costs and increased operational capacity. It's very, very helpful to the service providers there within the so they also helpful to the, the household. This means a lot to us as tricycle riders. We are extremely excited for this development. We can now do our businesses with ease and earn profit. But with this transfer station, yeah, so if for example, they get from a household, you know, they will double the trip. World Hope International's Waste Director Elijah Kihara outlined their support for the station's initial three months, covering workers' salaries, fuel costs, and truck maintenance. Walid Bassoun, Executive Director, Premier and Virus Solutions emphasized the private sector's commitment to operationalize the station effectively, introducing innovative waste sorting technology and pledging to purchase plastic waste for their construction materials production. We want the plastic, all types of plastics. We buy it and use it for our process because we intend to start processing 20 tons of plastic waste a day to produce building materials. We expect to start in June this year. Mayor of Freetown, Yvonne Akisoya, said the commissioning signifies a crucial milestone in Freetown's waste management efforts, promising a cleaner, more sustainable future for all. She reiterated the council's dedication to building more transfer stations, emphasizing the broader impact on waste management and community well-being. All the waste collectors in the area no longer have to travel all the way to King Tom. That saves them time, it saves them fuel, and it means they can do so much more in the same amount of time. So whereas maybe they would have serviced five houses um, in the old system, perhaps they can now service 15 which means more waste gets safely collected. This initiative reflects a broader strategy aimed at keeping Freetown clean and sustainable with plans for enhanced waste collection services benefiting households and businesses alike. SLBC News, Esther Sako reporting.